It is a couple weeks to St. Patrick's Day. We have snakes in the house and we have one of the sexiest ladies in history right here. Welcome. Hey, how's it going? Rick Strohmeyer here over at Art and Toy Theory at rickstroh.com. Today, I have an unboxing to do and can't wait to share this with everybody. This came from blackheartmodels.com. It's an awesome company. I plan, with, with this YouTube experiment, I plan on doing unpaid promotions on companies I believe in. And the owner, George, super nice guy. Uh, their company makes a lot of really nice products. Their, their quality is beyond measure. And this is just one of the, the few half-scale busts that I painted and I'm happy to show off getting it straight from the box out to what it looks like fully assembled. This piece here was designed by da Danielle Danko Angelosi and she's knocked it out of the park too. Uh, I got to see the, like I said, I got to see the, the, the demo piece for this um, several months ago and I told George as soon as it, you uh, have this on promotion or uh, out of production I've got to have one and Sure enough, uh, this was released just a few days ago, and I managed to get my hands on one. Um, I got gloves on. This is cool. Um, if I were, if I'm unboxing something, I normally wouldn't have gloves on if it was a production toy uh, or a blank, because uh, it would have to be washed, clean, primed before I do anything. If this were a collaboration, I'd totally be wearing gloves because I don't want my oily fingers to to do anything to mess with somebody else's. Uh, paint job before I do anything to it. The cool thing about this one is I was told in advance that this is primed. So we're going to ch check that out too. It's pre-primed so that saves me two days worth of work in itself. Where I don't have to clean it, I don't have to prime it, I don't have to wait for any of that to cure. So without further ado, we're going to take a look at the Gorgon by Blackheart Models. Trusty Husky. Open this up. Before we get cracking, one other thing to t talk about. This is a half scale bust. So my box is roughly 18 by 11 inches by 12. It's a big box. Shipping on this would be is, is huge and once, once customizing it, I think this guy is going to ship in multiple pieces. So hats off. First we got it's crammed to foam. Open up the one inch thick layer of foam. And we have a really nice cutout insert with blocks of foam. Snake heads here. I assume all the snake heads and the bust here. Let's pull this out. We got chunks of foam. And there we are. Here we go. See that? I was t normally if I had a bust, oh, that's good. I would pull this out probably by the top of the head and the chin. So George showed me something about this one that had me definitely ups the ante. Like I said, this thing's magnetized. Look at that. That is slick. And even so much that the snake hair comes off. You can see that big old key, big old magnet. And it comes back on slick as a whistle. And this is white resin. The resin is white. The primer is gray. And it, it's great. We got a bunch of detail on it. We're not, when I finish unpacking all the, the snakes on the bubble wrap, we're going to stop the camera, take it down into my basement, to the other photo lab, and we'll, we'll assemble it and show what it looks like fully assembled there. So now I have this compartment here that's crammed full of, I assume, snakes, and this little baggie. Ooh, snake tongues. So there is... 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's snake, seven snake tongues here that all go into some place over here on this beauty. One more shot here. Man, look at that. This is not the last product reveal, I swear. We're going to do some cool stuff with this. But, just to show off size. This up. Here's my 18 inch ruler and without a snake stick jutting out it goes to about 12 inches tall so that's pretty good that's really nice so we have the Medusa, the Gorgon the Medusa and we're told with the snake heads that it's not just one type of snake that we have in here that Daniela she designed 16 six different snakes to go with here with this so you have six different uh, six different species of snakes you have an anaconda python viper rattler rattlesnake a mamba and a cobra and we're just going to start taking them all out and seeing what we got over here there's a cobra the first one I un unboxed was a pulled out was a cobra. Man, look at the detail on that. We got one, two, three cobras. Look at that. Size of my finger. The L in there. And everything's really nicely bubble wrapped. And this is all solid resin. There's no hollow uh hollowed out um, rotocast. This is solid resin. I think this is a python or this is the python. This is a viper. Look at that. Anaconda. It's got the wider snout. Ah, Viper. I assume Viper. Oops. Oh, that's either a Viper, a Rattlesnake, or Mamba. I'm not, I'm not a snake scientist. Oh, I said it. Ooh, look at that guy. Definitely different. Beautiful. Constrictor. Seems like the big ones are the constrictors, which is fine. That's she knows what she's doing. Another cobra. So so far I've pulled out two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven snakes on here. tiniest which is just the head going out there and that one is just it's about can't see it it's about the size of my thumb no just the first digit of my thumb and finally we got the last of the vipers it looks great lots of detail on this cannot wait to get this uh, assembled and video and uh video and uh painted um blackheart is doing a a class on this late in march and uh, i told george that i would probably get this thing done before they do their big class um just think this is a fantastic piece this will be available once i get it done at five points first and then we're going to um yeah see if i feel like doing a another one this is freaking awesome 
I take one more picture of this unassembled and then we're going to go downstairs and get it put together. All right, well, that concludes another unboxing over at Art and Toy Theory at RickStro.com. We are good to go on this. Special thanks to Blackheart Models for the expediency and getting a hold of the Gorgon. Uh, I can't wait to get this started. Uh, there will probably be a works in progress picture or two along the way on Instagram. Follow me there to see what's going on. And... If you like some one of the toys that you see back here or on my feed, they, are, they will probably be available at rickstro.com. Uh, just, and if not, they will probably be available in later in the, in the spring when it comes to Five Points Festival, first at the festival and then online. And uh, yeah, hey, thanks so much for joining us and uh, see you next time.